taking platform-specific optimization to a new level, the NHD15 G2 is available in three variants, a regular, medium base convexity standard version, as well as specialized low base convexity and high base convexity variants. The background of this is that not all CPUs are created equal. In fact, today's desktop processors differ significantly with regards to the flatness of their heat spreaders, as well as their die configuration and hotspot location. Whilst Intel LJ1700 processors start as slightly convex out of the box, they quickly become highly concave once the socket's ILM or independent loading mechanism is closed to press the CPU into the socket. This is due to the stock pressure of the ILM causing the CPU to warp. Whilst this deformation can be reduced, either by putting 1mm washers underneath the ILM to reduce pressure, or by using custom ILM replacements such as contact frames that apply less pressure, the deformation of the CPU can be partly permanent, meaning that CPUs that have previously been installed under the stock ILM pressure may only show limited improvements from these modifications. But whilst LJ1700 CPUs tend to be highly concave, AMD AM5 CPUs, by contrast, stay relatively flat. At the same time, it must also be taken into account that AM5 CPUs have their CCDs shifted towards the south side of the socket, whereas LJ1700 processors require optimal contact in the center. These differences make designing a cooler that offers optimal performance on both platforms challenging. To achieve good contact, the shapes of the contact surfaces of the heatsink and the processor should fit each other as precisely as possible. This means that a relatively flat heatsink base will show the best fitting on a relatively flat CPU, such as AMD AM5, whereas a highly convex heatsink base is required to achieve a good fit on highly concave CPUs such as LJ1700 with full ILM pressure. At Noctua, we've always been convinced that it is preferable to have heatsinks that work equally well across different platforms, as this enables customers to keep using their heatsinks across multiple platform generations with excellent results, which is why all of our multi-socket coolers come with a medium convexity base and an offset mounting option for AM5. This way, they provide perfect contact on slightly concave processors, such as LG1700 CPUs with reduced ILM pressure, optimal results on AMD AM5 when using the offset mounting option, and solid performance on LG1700 CPUs that are used with full ILM pressure or have become permanently deformed from previous use. However, for the NHD15 G2, since we have spent so much time and effort squeezing out every last bit of performance, we are not only offering the cooler with our regular medium base convexity, but also in a specialized high base convexity or HBC and low base convexity or LBC variants too, that enable customers to edge out an extra degree or two in specific use cases. But which variant is the right choice for you? When looking at LJ1700, our tests show that the absolute best results can be obtained when combining the regular medium base convexity cooler with 1mm washers installed underneath the ILM. This is why the NHD15 G2 includes a set of NAISW1 1mm shim washers for optimizing performance on LJ1700 processors which means if you have a fresh LJ1700 CPU that isn't already deformed from the stock ILM pressure, opting for this combination will be your best choice. However, it's when these CPUs are used with full ILM pressure or have already become permanently deformed that the HPC version steps in. By choosing the specialized HPC version, customers can typically gain one to two degrees C extra compared to the medium base convexity standard model on LJ1700 processors that are used with full ILM pressure. Whether or not a particular CPU has become permanently deformed is difficult to tell, since this will depend on various factors, such as time of use, tolerances in ILM pressure, variances in CPU and socket height, as well as heatsink mounting pressure. But as a general rule, 
we tend to expect slightly better results with the HPC version on CPUs that have been extensively used for 3 months or more. So what about AMD AM5? With this processor, the specialized LPC version typically provides 1 to 2 degrees C better performance compared to the standard version when used without the offset mounting. However, when using the offset mounting option included with the cooler, which shifts the cooler right above the processor hotspot, the standard version tends to perform mostly on par or even slightly better than the specialized LPC variant. This means that unless you are unable to use the offset mounting option for compatibility reasons, the absolute best results will come from using the medium based convexity standard version with the mounting offset. On other relatively flat processors such as AM4, LJ2066, or LJ2011, the LBC variant can also provide benefits in the range of 1 to 3 degrees C compared to the regular version, and is our recommendation for use on delidded AM5 CPUs or with flat custom heat spreaders. So, which version should you choose? Our default recommendation for most users is to simply choose the medium based convexity standard version since it will always provide excellent or at least solid results. It will offer you the best results on AMD AM5 with the offset mounting and on Intel LGA 1700 with the included 1mm shim washers unless the CPU has already become permanently deformed from long term use with full ILM pressure. And even when running LJ1700 CPUs with full ILM pressure, or when not using the offset mounting option on AM5, the standard version is still guaranteed to provide solid results while maintaining the flexibility of continuing to offer consistent results if you upgrade your system. However, for the other cases described in this video, the specialized LBC and HBC versions can offer an extra 1 to 2 degree edge which makes them an attractive option for customers who want to get the best possible results in these particular configurations and don't mind trading in some versatility. If you would like to get an even deeper look into this topic, you can find further additional guides and resources on the Nocta website.